summers, but that's just the beginning. We want you to retrain your taste buds. Studies show that maintaining good health leads to longevity and a better quality of life. And proper diet helps to maintain healthy tissues and organs and a strong immune system. Well, here to tell us more is Rapper MD, a musically talented nephrologist uh, that has converted her spoken word health message into the hip hop genre. And Rapper MD, it is awfully nice to have you here on Crossroads. Thank we you appreciate very, it. Thank you very much, Melody. Now, nephrologist means that you are a kidney doctor, so you really see a lot of the problems that many of us don't realize we have in one of our most vital organs. Is that right? Correct. And basically, I deal with adult medicine, even though that program was talking about children. Mm -hmm. And basically, because of the dialysis material, the dialysis patient population, the biggest cause is diabetes. Diabetes is related to, of course, our diet. Mm -hmm. And I believe that a lot of those things can be controlled. Well, and controlled how? Give us some ideas. Well, it's again what you mentioned about retraining your taste buds. Mm -hmm. We basically have to eat more of our plants or vegetables. That's number one. And do you just find that people resist that idea that uh, it's a lot easier to reach for a bag of chips or a piece of candy than it is for an apple? Well, it's sort of marketed. It's more tastier. Mm -hmm. It's easier. It's quicker. But again, this is about your health. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to end up on a dialysis machine, you don't want to end up with diabetes, then you have to make it just as important and as prompt as brushing your teeth after you eat or going to the bathroom. It has to be just that important. And is it important to start very early with kids, so not get them in the uh, mindset of the only treat they want is something with a lot of sugar or salt in it? We learn by what our parents do, not by what they say. So it's a family decision. It's a family teaching their children to go for the fruit, to go for the apple, as opposed to the piece of, cu a piece of cake or the Twinkie. For your family to go to the salad, as opposed to the burger all the time. And we're looking at some of the things you suggest, as you mentioned, more raw fruits and vegetables. Beans, peas, and nuts. Now, that's interesting. Why uh, Why more beans in our diet? Everybody is on the protein kick, how we should get protein, protein, even though there's protein in our vegetables as well. Mm -hmm. But if you want something to substitute besides meat, which is injected, unfortunately, with a lot of products, there's been plenty of documentaries on that, you can use beans, lentils, white beans, um, chili beans, um, lentils, nuts, almonds, sunflower seeds. And limiting processed foods, what does that mean? That means no more um, <laughs> going to the store and buying a turkey packaged meat. Right. right. Doing what our great parents did, our grandparents did. They did everything fresh. It's not that animal meat is bad. It's just that we don't do what our grandparents did. They ate everything fresh. Yeah. And when they prepared the animal, guess what? They took it away from the rest of the animals, mm -hmm. and they knew what they fed it. Okay. Do we know what is in that package of meat? No, and we know that there are a lot more antibiotics and all kinds of things nowadays than there used to be. But you say go for as close to fresh as we can possibly get all of yes. the time. Yeah. Yes. And you mentioned no more snacks and salty foods and that sort of thing. Uh, are those a big problem when it comes to, you know, making sure your body is in the best shape possible? Yes. It's about what you put to your mouth, hands to your mouth. That's the most important medicine right then and there. That is, should be the only medicine. Mm -hmm. And what the salty foods are, are, of course, more tastier because we were trained to eat that when we were little. But if you're, again, trained when you were a child to go for the healthier things, the apples, the oranges, the citric fruits, and this temperature, the, the um, I won't say the animals, but yeah. the fruit that is covered, the bananas, the oranges, the grapefruit, that will last a little bit longer in these type of hot temperatures. All the nice little snacks, the carrots, the celery sticks, they will also last longer in these hot temperatures. And you retrain your taste buds. Now, I've got to ask you why you're rapper MD. I mean, you're a doctor. You spent all those years in medical school, but you decided to, to really come up with this moniker. Why? Rapper MD, because they don't listen to Dr. Mary Washington. <laughs> so I chose rapper MD. Actually, rap, um, in ancient um, hieroglyphics, Ra actually means God. I love you. Her means the house. Is this not the house of God? Mm -hmm. It's not your temple? That's exactly what it is. So what are you going to put in your temple? Again, quality things, good nutrient food to protect your immune systems so that when you have that burger every once in a while or you go hang out with some friends at a picnic, you have enough nutrients for breakfast, lunch, dinner, maybe a snack before you go to bed. You have the good basic nutrition in your body. Now, before I let you go, you're going to have to wrap for us just a second or two. What are the kinds of things you say to your young patients? I talk to, <laughs> that's good, young patients, really adults. I tell them things like uh, the business of health, I'm going to choke. I know so many healthcare professionals smell like cigarette smoke. 
or I'll mention things about, you know, from your hands to your mouth. You know what you ate. From your hands to your mouth, you chose your own fate. Very, very good. And these are all messages you want us to get so we don't end up having to come to you and deal with kidney problems and other things. Because I'd be more than happy to put you on a dialysis machine, no, but no. I'm trying to prevent that. Yep, absolutely. Well, Wabbery MD, such a pleasure. We appreciate it very much. You're pretty as both Dr. Washington and Rapper MD. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, recently, radio superstar Tom Joyner, State Senator Rodney Ellis, and TSU President Dr. John Rudley posted a network.